It was during the COVID-19 pandemic when retired Principal Mabel Wee spent more time in her neighborhood in Serangoon Gardens and fell in love with it again. I went around walking street by street and rediscovered the beauty of this estate and the uniqueness of every home here, said the 74-year-old former principal of Geylang Methodist School Primary, who has lived in her single-story semi-detached home with her family for 70 years. In 2020, she decided to put together a book on Serangoon Gardens in celebration of its 70th anniversary in 2024. This is probably the last thing I could do for my community, said Miss Wee, who invested $40,000 of her savings in the book project. She had no problem getting help from her neighbors to fulfill her colossal dream. Eight volunteers, who share her passion for their neighborhood, stepped forward. Miss Angie Mei Ling, a 51-year-old compliance professional, said, The pandemic rekindled our love for our estate. We realized we did not need to go out of Serangoon Gardens for all that we need. She added, It has the laid-back feel of an English village, and the French and Australian communities here make it more cosmopolitan. Mr. Chon Kwan Lok, a 69-year-old retired university administrator, said, It's quiet and peaceful, and yet it only takes 5 to 10 minutes to find a bustle, like the Chomp Chomp Food Centre. Market and other amenities It took them three years to do research, conduct interviews, and complete the writing. On February 17, the book, Vim, Vigor Vitality, Spirited Voices of Serangoon Garden Estate will be launched at Serangoon Gardens Country Club. The 160-page book in English documents the voices of existing and former residents and shop owners, as well as the developments that shaped the estate. There are also photographs of the old estate. Houses and shops to show the changing landscape, including images of campangs. Miss Catherine Ku a 64-year-old publisher and advisor of the project confessed that she did not have much faith in the ground-up project at first. As none of the team are in the writing profession. I think Mabel's leadership as a retired principal helped her see the big picture, put the concept together, and get everything done. Miss Koo said. I'm proud of her and the team. For Miss Lo Hui Meng, 67, a freelance early childhood educator, the project was an educational journey. I've learned so much about this place. It is the microcosm of Singapore and parallels how the nation has developed and progressed.